peace and greetings. Peace and greetings. How you feeling? Happy Tuesday. Today is my father's day. This is his cosmic return day. He was born on August 23rd, 1946. And um, today is his day. So I am celebrating that more or less. I have a very special video that I am currently composing. <laughs> Give thanks and praise. Um, but right now, I wanted to talk about, um, and so happy birthday, Dad. I want to talk about updates, transitions, and introductions. So let's start with the introduction. If you are watching this live and you do not know who I am, I am Goddess Queen Jamila Osset. I am the Goddess Osset. She's also na named Iset. The Greeks renamed her Isis. There's so many names that she has because she is the original goddess, the goddess of many names. So peace and greetings, welcome. Um, it's so nice to meet you for the very first time. Uh, I am a spiritual life coach. I am a lot of different things in that space. I work with women. I work with those who are looking to evolve, looking for a blissful life. Uh, really want to create the life that they envision in their in their minds like you have this life that you picture in your head but then sometimes life don't be life in that way and so I am the one who comes in and says don't worry I got your back I'm gonna help you I'm gonna help you hook that up so um, I'm giving you updates so I've been in Atlanta for about a month and change now and um, this is after two years of being in Africa. Um, I left America in 2020. And um, during the pandemic, I decided that I don't want to be in America anymore. I want to go to Africa. And so that is what I did. Now, why did I choose to go to Africa? Okay. The big meat and potatoes of me in Africa is that I was led to go to Africa. Like that was what, what was in my heart and my soul and my spirit and everything about me that was leading to Africa. But the big thing about Africa is that going to Africa is a journey that many will not make because there has been such conditioning and fear around Africa. People are not looking at Africa and seeing it for what it truly is and what it offers because they've never seen it before. They don't know what it looks like. They don't have an, an idea or a clue about what to expect from this beautiful continent, the motherland, okay? So, you know, for me now, after being in Africa for two years, I can say without hesitation, it is home. It is the place that I call home. It's a place that I love. It's a place that's in my heart. You know, it, it's, 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 it's here, right? So there's so many good things that I can say uh, about the continent after living in Africa for two years. But I will say to you that I was pleasantly surprised in coming to Atlanta. I came to Atlanta to pick up my son, bring him with me back to Africa. And I was pleasantly surprised about how much I enjoy my time in Atlanta. Like Atlanta really came through. Atlanta was like, oh no, you know, you you know, Africa is your new home, but baby, this is your hometown. Like this is where you were 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 raised. This is this is all you've ever, you know, been given. Like this this was it. So being here has really been a blessing. You know, um, it's really been an amazing, amazing, amazing blessing. Like, I know you're watching me. If you're watching me probably like, I never thought I would hear you say anything like that. Yes, yes, I know. For all my YouTube people <laughs> who have been watching me on YouTube talk about how many things I love about this country and that country and the other country. Like, I know. But I, I, I remember my friend k saying to me, uh, and I'm, I met him in Gambia, and I remember him saying to me, you know, Jamila, when you go back, 
you're you're going back as a different person. You're not the same person who even left. So everything is different for you. Every you're you know you you've you've elevated. So my current update is that after a month and a half of being in Atlanta, and by the way, after four months of being in Mexico, I am going back home, honey. I'm going back to Africa. Woo! I cannot wait. I'm so excited. My eyes jumping right now with excitement. I, I'm like, let the countdown begin. The countdown is already on. The timer's already on. Uh, I'm going back to the place that I will now call home, home, for real, for real, which will be Tanzania. So after traveling through um, almost 15 countries in Africa, Tanzania is where I'll be calling home. You hear me? You hear me? So I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm counting down. Um, that is going to be the the major thing that I am putting my energy and my my uh, attention on is transitioning in this way um, to find some level of permanent permanency and stability on the continent now. Because when I went before, I was nomading, but. Um, the big thing, the big transition is happening with my son. So I will be taking my 14 year old son with me to East Africa and um, we will be starting our lives there. Now my daughter, my 20 year old, she's also coming as well, but she's coming a little later. But I will be taking my son with me when, when, uh, when leaving, we will be coming, we will go together. So I'm so excited about that and it's such a huge transition for him, you know, having been in high school, having been in middle school here in the States, having spent his whole entire life in the States, now, you know, coming with mom to Africa, you know, everybody's asked me consistently, what does he think about that? So you'll be able to get access, you'll be able to get firsthand experiences, you'll be able to be pampered and taken care of and nourished and loved on and supported and cheered on and just adored, okay, with the Abundant Africa Goddess Retreats, right? So that is what I'm currently creating and curating if you're interested in going to Africa and you're like, okay, 
<laughs> the goddess queen is speaking my language because I am not I listen the reason I created it is because when I left and went to Africa I was like listen I want to be clear I'm not here for the struggle I'm not I'm not leaving from one set of circumstances and going somewhere else and dedicating myself to roughing it I'm not here for the roughing it I am here for the what soft life okay soft black girl soft life okay everything divine feminine everything pleasure everything bliss everything enjoyment everything happy everything positive vibrations everything high vibration so i am not here for the rough i am not here for the struggle i'm not here for any of that but that has been so much of what people have seen from africa like they we, we grew up watching people on tv with flies and stuff in our mouth and look at this i'm coming to my baba's house and he there's goats to greet me at the front so um hello why hello goats hello let me see if i can flip the camera over real quick so you all can see the goats as well you see hello how are you you doing okay today mm -hmm like who is this yes so i am not here for the struggle i'm not and that's that's not something that i advocate for for any of us who have um who have been taught to believe that life is is struggle it's not struggle and so when you book with me um well, when you talk to me, the, well, the first step is really to book a consultation. And when you book your consultation with Abundant African Goddess, then you'll see if, you know, you, you what you want to do. We'll talk about where you want to go in Africa, what you want to experience. Now, I'll tell you this. This is not your typical safari experience. If you want a, a typical safari experience, go call the typical safari experience company and do what you do. But what I do is I give you an opportunity to really embrace the aspects of culture the aspects of of day-to-day -day living um you get a taste you get a real taste for what this particular country is offering to you and you get that taste from a perspective like i'm talking about taste and spit right um you get that perspective from a a, a first class perspective that's what it's about like we're not about to be out in the woods struggling and looking crazy so that is something that I want to make sure that you know. Um, it, it'll be an experience curated like none other. So yeah, if you're interested, then I am definitely gonna post a link for this this video, um, and you can book a, book the consultation and set up your time pay your consultation fee and then we will talk about where you want to go what you want to do who, who who you with get crunk who you with and we will set up your luxurious african abundant experience because africa has so much abundance there's so much abundance in africa there's so much abundance in africa one of the things that i i said after i moved there was I now understand why they showed you the flies and the poverty and the this and the that. They were trying to discourage you. They were trying to make you not go there because once you go there, you see, well, wait a minute, there's more white people here vacationing than I knew white people could be in, in a place like this. Like I was really surprised going to places like Kenya and Gambia and seeing so many white people. I was like, wow, I didn't, I didn't, I just didn't know. I didn't think that white people came to Africa like that. And especially not for vacation, right? We, we've been taught don't go there. So it was a lot of really big surprises for me. And as a result of me spending two years and traveling through almost 15 countries, I am excited to offer you your retreat experiences you could do it with me so i have my retreats throughout the year um our, our first retreat was in tanzania east africa so people are like how do you say tanzania is it tanzania or tanzania actually they say it both ways i say tanzania because that's what i'm gonna say and that's fine if you want to say tanzania you can say tanzania it's perfectly fine either one so i did a 14 day retreat in tanzania yes 14 days because these retreats are not for people who don't understand the purpose there's a purpose there's a reason there's a rhyme there's a flow so 14 days sometimes is exactly what you need to replenish yourself to relax to take off all the armor to sit down to think about who you are to fully embrace what's what's going on to be in peace to be in silence some of you have been so stressed so overrun so overworked 
overthinking, just doing the most. So we took 14 days to replenish the energy. And that retreat experience was so phenomenal. It was so first class, it was so top notch that one of my retreat attendees who came to Tanzania for the first time because of my retreat, went back home, packed up her stuff and moved to, to where we had the retreat. Right? So you see what I'm saying? Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Yes, it, it's like that. And that's the way it is. So our next retreat is going to be in Rwanda. And I'm so excited for that. Um, again, first class experience. And I can't wait to have videos and stuff for that. But at any rate, that is it. I just wanted to give you intro, update, and transitions. I pray your Tuesday is absolutely blessed. If you have any questions, please let me know. Again, this is Goddess Queen Jamila Orset, Goddess Queen Ja Ost. You can find me on Instagram, Goddess Queen underscore J A H A S T on Instagram. And you can also find me on Facebook and YouTube and everything else. All right. Peace, peace. I will talk to you 